on the porch. Or maybe it's in the treehouse. <laughs> oh, I saw that book up here someplace. Um, oh, oh, here it is. Oh, oh, I haven't seen this book in a long time. It's one of my favorites. It's our safety book. And it has lots of important safety rules I want you to know. Oh, there's a rhyme in this book that I really like. Oh, let's see, it's somewhere here. <coughs> oh, 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 looks like someone's watching me. <laughs> Look through the window, and who do I see? Men, friend men, smiling at me. Look through the window, and who do I see? Sean, friend Sean. Waving at me. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Hello, 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 and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. <laughs> oh, hi, man. Hello, Sean. Oh, it's good to see you again. What book were you reading? Oh, it's called Our Safety Book. What's it about? It's all about safety, Sean. This rhyme says it all. <laughs> Safe means being smart each and every day. So I won't get hurt when I work or play. Safe means being smart each and every day. So I won't get hurt when I work or play. Mm -hmm. That's a good rhyme to remember. And anytime we're not sure if something's safe, we should always ask a grown-up for help. Right, Sean. And there are lots of other things that help us to be safe. Like what? Well, there's something here in the treehouse that reminds me of a safety rule right now. There is? Uh -huh. Oh, I see. Look. Traffic lights. Mm -hmm. They tell us when it's safe to cross the street. We know a song about traffic lights. Remember the time we sang it, Barney? Well, I sure do, man. Oh. Green means go, yellow means slow, and, and red, red means stop, stop, stop. 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 <laughs> yeah, traffic lights tell us when it's safe to cross the street. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. oh, I wonder who it is. Hello? Is anybody up there? What? Who's up there? Uh, who is it, man? Uh, I can't tell. It sounds all goobly. <laughs> Who's up there? I can't tell who it is either. Let's just run down and see. Oh, okay. Who am I talking to? It's just us. Barney! Oh, hi. Hi, everyone. <laughs> hi, Tasha. I was just trying to find out who was in the treehouse. And we couldn't tell who was calling us, so we came down. <laughs> How are you, Tasha? Good, Barney. I'm happy to see you. Oh. Hey, you're wearing a crossing guard's uniform, Tasha. I was picked to be a crossing guard today. Mm. Now I can help everyone cross the street. I've always wanted to be a crossing guard. Ever since today, Michael became one. Oh. I remember that day. <laughs> Those are very good rules to remember. It's important to cross every street safely. But only after we stop. Look. Oh, oh be sure to look all around. <laughs> oh, yeah. And listen. Really little children should always hold hands with a grown-up. And never chase a pet or a ball into the street either. Ask a grown-up for help. That way, everyone will be safe. <laughs> oh, hi, hi, Jason. Oh, hi, everybody. Hi, Barney. Hi there. That's a cool helmet. Thanks. I like it, too. I always wear it when I'm riding my bike. If I fall off, 
The helmet will protect my head. And we want to keep our heads safe. That's important because we can do so many things with them. <laughs> I drew a picture of my head. <laughs> Oh, there are so many fun things we can do with our heads. <laughs> That's why there are lots of different helmets to protect them. Like this one. <laughs> this helmet protects... Firefighters. Oh, right, Jason. It keeps the firefighters' heads safe from things that might fall on them in a fire. But there are other helmets to protect us, too. <laughs> A construction helmet. Mm -hmm. My uncle wears a helmet like this for protection on construction jobs, like when he's working on a big building. <laughs> there are helmets for all kinds of things. Wow. <laughs> a baseball helmet. This baseball helmet would protect me if the ball accidentally hit my head. That's right. Here's another one. <laughs> you look like you're ready to fly to the moon, man. She does. <laughs> wow, remember when Derek was an astronaut? This is the helmet he wore. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Zoom! <Whoa. laughs> Too bad there wasn't room for all of us in that rocket. It really looked like fun. He did. <laughs> My mom's here to pick us up, Sean. <laughs> We've got to go. We'll see you later, Barney. Okay, so long. <laughs> I'll walk you to the corner and help you cross the street safely. And when you get in the car, what's the first thing you're going to do? Say hi to Min's mom after we've buckled up our seatbelts. Oh, oh, bye. 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 So long now. Take care. Bye, bye, Stay safe. Bye. First we What are you two looking for? I can't find my baseball mitt. Maybe you left it in school. I'll help you look. That's a good idea. I'll check the treehouse. Oh, is it here? Oh, uh, maybe it's here. Oh, 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 I know it's in here. No. Oh, well, well, I don't see Jason's baseball mitt anywhere. He'll probably find it in the school. Barney, oh, oh. Barney, I have something to show you. Ooh. Baby Bob, what is it? Oh, I can't wait to see. Oh, wow. Why, oh, that's a very big bag, Baby Bob. What's in it? The things I want to show you. Oh. Look at all my toys. Oh, toys, huh? Yes. There. Oh. Oh. Oh, I made a mess. Oh, that's okay, Baby Bob. I'll help you pick them up. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get this okay. Here. Um, oh, let's see. I uh, Oh, look. Look, Barney, look. Oh, I love to play with this toy when I'm in the tub. <laughs> oh, you do love to take baths, don't you? <laughs> oh, yes. Bubble baths. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the safety rules about taking a bath, Baby Bob? Oh, yes. <laughs> Always have a grown-up help you get in and out of the tub mm -hmm. so you don't slip and fall. Oh, that's right, Baby Bob. Whenever you're near water, you should stay with a grown-up. And have a grown-up turn the water on and off, because it might be too hot. Ooh. Ouch! Other things can be hot and burn us, too. Well, look at this, Baby Bob. Oh. Ooh, pretty. <laughs> can you tell me what you do when you see an iron? Don't touch it. Right. <laughs> and what about this pan on the stove? Ooh, don't touch it. Oh, very good. And how about the stove? Don't touch it. Hot, oh, hot, hot. Good. <laughs> and a water faucet? Don't touch it. Oh, that's right. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, fireplace fire? Ooh, stay away. Never touch hot things. They can hurt you. Very good, Baby Bob. You sure know your safety lessons. Thank you, Barney. <laughs> well, I'll help you finish picking up your toys. We wouldn't want anyone to step on them and get hurt. That's right. <laughs> 
Oh, oh my. Oh, I remember when I slipped on a toy truck. Ooh, what happened? Here. <laughs> All done. Everything is picked up. Oh, thank you for showing me your toys, Baby Bop. You're welcome, Barney. I'm gonna go play now. <laughs> so long, Baby Bop. Bye. See you later. Take care now. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. <Bye -bye. laughs> see you later. <laughs> well, I guess I'll go down and see if Jason found his baseball mitt. <laughs> I hope it's down here somewhere. Here it is. Oh, oh good. You found your mitt, Jason. <laughs> uh huh. Thanks for helping me look for it. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> oh, are you pretending to be a firefighter, Tasha? I just like wearing the hat. It would be neat to grow up and be a firefighter and work at a fire station. That would be a great job to have. Have you ever been to a fire station, Tasha? No. Well, if you'd like, we can visit a fire station today. We can? Sure. We'll use the adventure screen. <laughs> Are you ready to explore the fire station? Yes. Then here we go. The fire station is where the firefighters keep their fire trucks. Most oh. fire stations have two kinds of trucks. Big. Big. <laughs> this is called a pumper. It carries water inside. It has long hoses that the firefighters use to spray water on the fire to put it out. Well, that's a big hose. <laughs> the ladder truck has a great big ladder that can reach windows on tall buildings so that firefighters can rescue people trapped inside. The firefighters need to be ready all the time, so they take turns living in the fire station. They have a kitchen there, and a place to eat, a place to exercise, and a place to sleep. Why do they sleep there? Well, sometimes there are fires during the night. The firefighters need to be close to the trucks so they can get to the fire fast. When the alarm sounds, the firefighters rush to their trucks, where they quickly get into their protective clothing, the boots, pants, and jackets that will keep them safe. Wow, look at those flashing lights. With seatbelts buckled and helmets on, your neighborhood firefighters are ready to go! <laughs> oh, there goes the siren. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there you go! A trip to the fire station! <laughs> that was really neat, Barney. Oh, it was fun, wasn't it? Hi, everybody! What's going on? Hey there, BJ! <laughs> Are you pretending to be firefighters? Not really, but Barney just showed us the fire station on the adventure screen. Ah, uh, did you get to see all the special clothes they wear when they put a fire out? They really look cool! Uh-huh. Remember when Firefighter Frank came to our school and told us all about it? Oh, uh, yeah! Firefighters have to be really strong to wear all that stuff and carry that heavy tank on their backs. It would be hard to run all the way to a fire. It's a good thing they have trucks. That's right, BJ. But they still have to hurry, hurry. <laughs> to the rescue! Oh, that was fun. <laughs> now, I have a question for you. Do you know the two most important rules to remember if you see a fire or smell smoke? I sure do. Ooh. Yeah, Firefighter Frank told us all about that, Barney. Oh. Did you lose something, DJ? No, I'm practicing crawling under smoke in case I have to get out of a burning building. My family practiced getting out of our house in case of a fire. It helped us when that fire really did happen. Oh my, what did you do? When I smelled smoke, I ran and told my mom and dad right away. We all got out of the house really fast, and we didn't go back in for anything, even my favorite dolls. Just like Firefighter Frank told us. Oh, I'm glad no one was hurt, Tasha. It's important that we all know what to do in case of a fire. 
We learned a lot from Firefighter Frank. Yeah, I didn't even know what a smoke detector was until Firefighter Frank showed us this one. Mm -hmm. After Firefighter Frank's visit, I went home and asked my mom and dad to check the batteries on all the smoke detectors in our house. Ooh, that's important. Good. You know, with all the different kinds of alarms and sirens and everything, hearing sure is important for fire safety. But there are other ways to tell there's a fire. I have a good smoke detector right here, and I can see the smoke and fire and feel the heat from the fire too. That makes a lot of sense to me, Jason. <laughs> 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 now, thank you very much indeed. For what, Barney? For knowing so many safety rules. You mean, like being careful crossing the street. That's right. And protecting our heads. And picking up our toys. Right again. And buckling up our seatbelts when we ride in the car. Yep, that's very important. And getting in or out of the tub with a grown-up's help. And staying away from hot things that could burn us. Oh, two more good ones. And remember, if you're near water, stay with a grown-up. And tell a grown-up if you smell smoke. And get out of a burning building fast. And don't go back in. And stay away from fire. Very good. And always ask for help from a grown-up if you're not sure that something's safe. Oh, I couldn't have said it better. <laughs> I want you all to be safe so you won't be hurt. Because all my friends are special to me. <laughs> Barney, I'm so glad you want us to learn about safety. Oh, why, Tasha? Because that means you want us to be safe. And that's another way of saying, I love you. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I do love you. <laughs> oh. I love you. of fun and that you'll always play safely. Do you remember my favorite rhyme from this book? <clears throat> Safe means being smart each and every day so I won't get hurt when I work or play. Could you say it with me? <laughs> Safe means being smart each and every day so I won't get hurt when I work or play. Oh, good. I hope you'll learn that rhyme because I want you to be safe. And remember, I love you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs>